Welcome back, folks, to some more Space Quest for Hall's Revenge, or Strikes Back, or whichever one of those games I'm playing. I can't remember. This guy is fucking creeping me out. Hey there, I'm Raj. Ronald Borstein, now the Spectre. Oh my, this is it. We're going down, are we? What? Oh, so you have it. Ah, uh, I mean, hello. Hi. <laughs> you seem rather nervous. Me? <laughs> well, yeah. You're not hiding something terribly incriminating in a big closet, are you? Uh, <laughs> what? No, definitely not. I mean, why should I? <laughs> hmm. Why do you start every sentence with O? Oh, ah, uh, oh. <laughs> That's just a habit, I suppose. <laughs> well, stop it. I'm starting to get Cheerios on the brain. Ow. Oh. What's in that big closet? Oh, um, I wouldn't know. Probably something boring. <laughs> well, why don't we just have a look? No! There's uh, nothing to see there. <laughs> I'm gonna still need to inspect its contents, though. Oh, well, I... I don't have the keys. So there. <laughs> but who does? Oh, uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> And I suppose you also don't know anybody who might know. Well, bingo! <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, uh, talk to you later. <laughs> that guy was completely worthless as dog shit. Hey! Howdy there! Reginald Borstein, the health inspector. My name's Ron, and I'm, wait, did you say health inspector? Uh, yeah. Oh boy, you gotta help me! Uh, what kind of help do you have in mind? You got to give me a health inspection. A what now? You now would like a doctor checkup. Why don't you see a doctor like everyone else? Oh no! I ain't going near that thing! What thing? That thing they call it a doctor around here. What's the problem? You seen that thing? Just scares the darn willies out of me. Hmm, okay, let's suppose I do give you a health inspection. What's in it for me? Anything you want! Anything? Well, anything that I can do us for you. Well, there is one thing. Yes? But I don't suppose you could... <laughs> Buy one of these fine leather jackets. Help me get into the sewers. Ah, the sewers! You gotta be kidding me! Cause that's my specialty! Really? Yep, you're looking at an official sewage technician. Ah, uh, there's a camboo camp. So you're a janitor then? Yep. We're not so different, you and I. I'll give you a checkup and you'll let me in the sewers, right? Yep, as soon as you get that doctor thing out of there first. Yeah. What? Well, you have to get him out of the tent first. Well, okay. I'll see what I can do. Hurry up, will ya? Probably don't got much time left. Aha! A new face! May I interest you in any of my special offers? Special herbal medicine just for you. 
gain up to 300 inches in a matter of minutes. Wow. Amazing offers, hi now. So it's your uh, face, I can see. Is that your brain? Oh, uh, yes, this is my brain. Holy smokes, that's the creepiest shit I've ever seen. Well, apart from that one time I was actually inside someone's brain. But that's a whole different story altogether. Yeah, yeah, whatever, let me go. You're not here to buy my special medicine. Not really. <laughs> they never are. So much for those innovative online advertising campaigns. So, anywho. I'll leave you be. I'm back! I'm Reginald Bornstein, health inspector. Inspect in the face, eh? I'm Dr. Nelzo, but you can call me Nelzo. Okay, Nelzo. You're not from around here, are you? You can say that again. In fact, I'm not even from this universe. Not from this universe? What do you mean? You see, I'm a pan-dimensional metaphysical hologram. Projected here via a transmutogenic anomaly in a conjoined black hole. What your consciousness perceives right now is merely a simplified approximation of my true essence. And it's full firm, but instantly burst your primitive three-dimensional brain. Whoa, really? No, <laughs> almost had you there. Had me where? Never mind. Anyway, my home planet is actually only about 20 light years down the block and to the right. You can almost see my house from here on a clear night. Really? Now? Ah! Say, what would it take to get you to leave this tent for, say, 15 minutes? What for? Let's just say there's an ape man who is somewhat afraid of you. And, uh... Rodney, let me guess. He convinced you to give him a medical checkup? Yeah, how'd you know? You're not the first, but I'm afraid I can't help you there. Why not? I can't stay outside for very long. My species is very sensitive to cold. Hmm, you don't have a coat or anything? Had one, but then some of the apes borrowed it for a game of cable, and I haven't seen it since. Why would they need a coat for a ball game? Obviously, you've never seen a game of cave ball. Right, so... I don't suppose you have anywhere else to go. No, nowhere on this planet, at least. But... Well, this isn't exactly my favorite workplace, as you can might imagine. The job description wasn't exactly accurate. So if there was a way I could leave this planet, I could start over elsewhere. Then why don't you just go? I can't. You think Ball Hall and the Apes would just let me walk out of all the trouble they went through to lure me here? I need a special permit signed by the corner, just to step outside the gates. I even, if I did somehow get the permit, I need a spaceship as well. So I'm pretty much stuck here for all of eternity. But what if I were to somehow get you a spaceship and such a permit? Heh, <laughs> all the spaceship and a permit? You gotta be kidding me! But yeah, sure, get me those two and I'll leave the tent. You can have all my equipment too. Sounds like a deal. I'll leave you be. I got work to do. Set off the alarm. No, I didn't. Are you sure? Yes. Are you really, really not not sure? Just keep the gate open, will you? You won't mind if I take this cup of tea, would you? 
No, not at all. Go ahead. Aren't you going to drink it? No, not really. You clever devil. is empty, so just leave it there. I think the doctor needs this book more than you do. Medicine for dummies! Take a cup of tea and pour it on the large lock, keeping the closet shut. The lock dissolves and falls off. Whoa, didn't think that'd work. Yeah, what do you just do? Please stop doing it. Wait, what are you doing? Sorry, Ned. Regulations. Gotta inspect this entire base. But you can't. No! Oh my god. Oh. Ned, are these yours? Not mine, I swear I'm holding it for the apes. They swore me to secrecy. Everything would be fine, they said. We're in this together, they said. Oh. Oh, if all whoever finds out about this, they'll kill me. What is this shit? Sorry, what? I don't know what this shit is. Is this illegal? Is it contraband? Is it potential health hazard? It's a hazard. We've been hiding it from Bohem all week. I wanted to get rid of it, but the apes wanted to keep it around, and uh, it's too complicated. How do I get into this mess? Please go easy on me. I'll do anything. I'll point fingers, names, names, give bribes. Anything. Hey, Ned? Yeah? Relax. I saw nothing. Aren't you gonna write me up? Isn't this a major infraction? Uh, yeah, I guess so, but hey, we all make mistakes, right? I'm sure whatever this is, I could stand to look the other way. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Just don't tell anybody about what you saw, please. My lips are sealed. Say, about that favor. Yeah? Would you happen to be able to give me a permit for leaving the camp? You don't need one. You can walk right out. It's not for me. It's for Dr. Nelzo. Hmm, well, sure, I can get you a blank permit, but it won't be worth anything without a final signature. And there's no way he's gonna let the doctor go. Especially now that he's got the... Condition. What condition? No one knows. All I know is it makes him even crankier than usual. Oh boy. Still though, I'd like to take one of those blinks. Sure. Hmm. You keep all your papers in your pockets? Yeah. Aren't there like hundreds of those? I have no idea how much stuff I can fit in there. Actually, I think I do. Oh, uh, talk to you later. <laughs> Alright, do we got a permit here? You smear some smarm on the permit, causing it to become rather sticky. You put the sticky permit on the clipboard, making it stick there. You have successfully pasted the permit on the clipboard. At first sight, you wouldn't even notice something odd about the clipboard. Boom, boom. Boom. Boom, shoom. Doom, boom. Boom, boom. Can you 
sign this, please? Er, what is it? It's the health inspection report. Ah, I'm too busy to read it, though. What does it say? Why, it just so happens to say that everything is perfectly up to code. And fully compliant with even the strictest intergalactic regulations. Hmm, that sounds about right. Where do I sign? Right here. You watch as the colonel signs the permits on the clipboard. Thanks. Now I'm gonna play some Conky Dong. That sounds kind of gross. My dog. What's this? Looks like the keys to a ship. What ship? Haven't you heard about certain general visiting the camp? Sure, but are you telling me that these keys are to a forksmith ship? That would be a yes. I just can't take the general's ship. Come on, he'll never know. But I'll get in so much trouble. Look, the general's got lots of ships, plus he probably underpays you. Not to mention the bad contract, the cold weather, the smelly apes. You see where I'm going with this? I don't know. And I bet not once has anyone here ever bought any of your special medicine. Hey, you're right. I'll just be balancing out the universe. Exactly. Thanks, Mr. Borston. Anywho, I still can't go. Oh yeah, the permit. Yes, the permit. Well, I'll figure something out. How can you be so sure? I always do. It's just somehow happens. Good luck, then. Well, looky right here. Sign permit. Here you go. Your ticket out of here. What? You got me the permit? I sure did. Wow, how'd you get the car on to sign it? Oh, you know, one part bravery, two parts brilliance. The classic recipe of success. <laughs> thanks! Of course, there's still the problem of the two ape guards on the ship. Hmm, you know what? Don't worry about them. I've already got an idea. But thanks for everything. Here, help yourself to a free sample. What is this? It's a miracle growth serum I told you about. 300 inches in 3 seconds! A ladies' man like you can make some real work of it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> you will. Well, gotta fly. See you later, friend. Well, he's gone now. Who, the doctor? Yeah, let's go get that checkup over with. Huzzah! Boom, shakalaka, boom, shakalaka, boom, 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 shakalaka. All right, stick out your tongue and say ah. Sit now and dress and get on the table. Uh, no, that's not necessary. But well, I'll do it anyways. Okay. Five minutes later. Listen, Rodney, I'm not very comfortable doing this part without gloves. But eyes can be allergic to that latex rubber. Could you at least stop clenching? No promises, Doc. Now excuse me while I turn my head and cough. Another five minutes later. It's a boy. Yet another five minutes later. Thanks, Doc. I feel great. Hey, what's wrong with you? Nothing. I just really need a long shower. Well, let's go get that sewer open for you. I suppose old Fortsmith can't handle the moonshine. Uh, yeah. Passed out all by himself. Yeah, he calls himself a soldier. I'm disgusted. Well, there you go. Thanks for everything. Bye.
before we leave, return to the doctor's tent. Make sure you get the surgical mask. Someone ought to clean that kid up. You pick up the discarded air freshener off the ground. This is how you do all your deodorant shopping. Hardy har har har. Alright, now we have everything we need. Let's get away from these smelly goddamn apes. And into the sewers. Where it probably won't smell much better. Ooga booga! Kinda looks like my neighborhood. Surrounded by monkeys. Holy shit. Against your better judgment, you take a big whiff of the sewers and are met with a slight burning sensation in your olfactory receptors that quickly disappears. You're wondering if this has anything to do with the dizziness you're feeling. Probably need to combine the air freshener with the mask. You place the air freshener inside the surgical mask, forming a makeshift gas mask. You wear your makeshift gas mask. Hey, I think it's working. Yeah, it smells like shit down here. Entering the penguins' lair. Didn't know penguins lived in. Oh my God! It's the penguin. I believe the word you're looking for is arg. Oh. No, no, arg at the back of the throat. Arg. Yes, that's right. Now, who are you, and why have you entered my lair? I'm Roger Wilco, and I'm trying to find a way around the gate. I didn't know anybody actually lived out here. So we do, for you stand in the presence of the Penguin, King of the Sewers and Guardian of this passage. And you, Mr. Wilco, are the first mortal to ever lay eyes upon me. Really? Well, except for that darn ape with the crowbar and the couple of kids. And my mom on weekends. Can I just pass through? I'm kind of in a hurry. <laughs> of course you can. Just step a little closer so I can get a better look at you. A little closer. To your left. <laughs> Yuck! I gotcha! <laughs> gotcha! This is disgusting. What a fool! <laughs> you head back to the camp and clean yourself up. Jerk. Apply the face mask. And what's this? It's a plaque. It says Sewer Main Floodgate. You wonder if this is one of those things that kill you. What? 
what's going on here? Ah, come on. Piece of shit. Oh, fuck. Penguin sees him. It was worth it. You know, now I think of it, the sewage trick is pretty funny. Shut up! What? Where do you think you're going? Penguins attack! So I can get past you? Mm, what? I mean, because it's in my nature to help people out. You're obviously not a bad guy. Just a misunderstood mean penguin wallowing in sewage. Seems I misjudged you, human. I suppose even in a cold place, people can have warm hearts deep inside. But pray tell me, you're not with the apes. Then who are you with? I'm going to put an end to Vorhal's operation. In that case, we will not stand in your way. Penguins! You will find the exit beyond that tunnel. Should you require any further assistance, my brothers are at your service. Providing they like you. Now be gone from my sight. I wish to lurk in darkness. You guys hungry? I got some anchovies. The birds stare at the can in bewilderment. Perhaps you should open it first. The can easily peels open. These things smell surprisingly well preserved after all these years. They feel squishy. You hold the can of anchovies out to some of the flightless birds. They hastily gobble it up and resume standing around, doing nothing. They also seem much less perturbed than they were before. You grab one of the one well-fed penguins and stick it in your pocket. I have me a little baby fucking penguin in my pocket. That's awesome. Let's go eastward. Frozen waterfall. Whee! That didn't work out so well. Shit. You had a hunch penguins couldn't fly, but then you're not one for jumping to conclusions. Let's try that again, shall we? Epic fail! Roger, you successfully navigated the deadly sewers and even got some snowboarding in. As you kiss goodbye to the wasteful depths, you return to the surface and your final confrontation with Sludge Volhall. You 
you climb up the manhole and close it shut behind you, as to not draw any more attention to your duobouts. You'll have to get closer. You know, this guy was worked at Garino Products. He gets dental insurance. Yeah. Can you work those kind of hours? Can you really put a price on dental hygiene? This is it, Roger. After braving the treacherous icy wastelands, infiltrating the simian ranks, and conquering the sewers, you finally reach the fortress. Before you sits Vohal on his throne, but off to the sides are the Firkins, and the love of your life in mortal peril. Looks like this is where it's all gonna come to an end. Finkel, guys, what's going on here? Are you okay? She's safer now. Too bad I can't say the same for you. What do you want from us, you crazy? You're a robot now? Yes, it's all part of the master plan. You look kind of sloppy. Yes, well, mine. Is that a hamster? Enough. You must be wondering why I brought you here for. Brought me? I got here all by myself. Yes. But didn't I kill you twice already? How naive, Wilco. You should really learn to sit through lengthy countdowns in the future. Or the past. Never mind, the important thing is we are here now, and we shall settle this feud between us once and for all. Right, so what does all this have to do with me? I am close to unleashing the power upon the universe most powerful weapon. I better stop you then. Ah, uh, yes. I was just about to get to that part. See, you could end it all right here like you always do, so I decided to make things a little more difficult. Well, this explains those death traps I'm seeing here. Until the next episode to choose. Thanks for watching.